You killed him with your big... Did I kill him? I think your story killed him. <laughs> that was a really brief, curious case. <laughs> he got uh. so old and young at the same time. <laughs> what are the chances that you would have the big hands when that happened? 100%, because he won. Welcome to Good Mythical More. Uh, congratulations. I'm it's gonna be over here. I'm gonna be reading Girls Life. I gotta tell you guys a little a story, a little secret about myself. Okay. Does it involve taking a breast friend forever quiz? A breast friend? <laughs> breast friend. <laughs> That's your mom, man. That's what BFF stands for, right? The, your breast fend fend forever. Okay, I said that. <laughs> Did it happen? My yeah. hands are so warm. <laughs> Do you want a D can hand? I take them off? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so. It's like, uh oh. Scream, oh no! Scream Help wildly. Me. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? Uh, gonna that's say. what I was gonna tell you about my oh. my damp hands. Oh. <laughs> damp hands. Uh. But you can take those with you. All right, thank you. Can you can use them whenever you're flying back to Montana to like hail a plane. <laughs> that'll, that'll be better than just the normal hands. Okay. And I'm sure I'll get lots of friends. Uh, you guys wanna take a quiz? My understanding sure. is that these. Amazing magazines, which I read all the time, are chock full of quizzes which help you ascertain what type of person you are and therefore what type of action you should take. In this case, related to what? Uh, are you too harsh with your BFFs? Ooh. No. You, can you have multiple BFFs? No. I think there's a problem with that with that acronym. Yeah, they need to take, the, uh, take that S off because you can't have a oh. be you can't have have two best friends is a best, and then there's a second best. That's right, true. but I have one, you have one, and Rhett has one. Okay, I'm there oh, with yeah. you. Oh yeah, when yeah, three right. people are taking the quiz at the same time. Suddenly it makes more sense. All right, tell me what uh, I... Well first, let's just start with, uh, is your brother your best friend? I was it my wife is my best friend. Oh, good, good answer. answer. She happens to be in the room, and John <laughs> is not, so well, I mean, it makes sense. Okay. All uh, right, so but should, should we should we... But for the purposes of this? We should say John. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. You're, you're vintage shopping with your BFF. Me and John went vintage shopping, like to an antique mall. We're antiquing. And she tries on some Jordache jeans that are Eek. just way too tight. Eek. Okay, I've uh, I've r refined my thought about where we are, me and John, <laughs> from a big store full of like uh, old mirrors to now we are at a Goodwill. Yeah, yeah. Jordache is there. Okay. <laughs> Jordache jeans. When okay. she asks how they look, you say. A, painted on, just kidding, love you. Wait, what? Okay. I've said that before. <laughs> B, hmm, they're cute, but maybe you should try to find a pair one size Ooh, up. Ooh, a little guy, I don't know, I don't know about that. Or C, well, how do you think, how do, how you, do you think, think they, they look? look? Yeah. Or how do you think they how look? Do you, how do you think they look? Okay. Or, right, yeah. how do you think they look? Or, well, do they have eyes? How do they see? How do pants see, Becky? <laughs> I'm so confused. How do they see things? Wait, Becky's my BFF, not yours. <laughs> I'm uh, I, I'm gonna give my answer. I I think that I would just I would turn it back on them. Yeah, I'd turn it back on on John. I'd say I'd say on you Link. Know. <laughs> I'd turn it back on <laughs> yeah, Link. Yeah. I like, yeah. uh, how do you think they look? I mean, I might be brutally honest with John. I, well, I don't, I don't think I'd say any of these things. I'd probably be like, I think probably you should not be wearing young women's Jordache jeans. <laughs> so you think he would be Why honest? Why not? Yeah. I, I mean, I wore women's jeans for, there was a stint before the men's jeans got tight he, enough to my liking. He did, he wore women's jeans for at least three years. Mm. Go back to the videos and you'll, you'll notice. Uh, they're not any tighter than the men's jeans that I wear now. But so they I was just shaped, fashion They forward. are shaped differently. I'm gonna take, when we get up and walk, what you walk me out, I'm gonna be taking an extra long look at like your shape, you know what, your body fine. shape. And I don't, yeah. Why, not, while you're don't. at it, smell my hands. Mine smell like, like, oh, okay, what do they smell like? I'm gonna say A. They look painted on, girl. JK, I love you. Just kidding, I love you. Sure, well, give him that one. We don't care why. I'll, I'll just get, that's my okay. playful answer. That's we, do I mean. have to, we do have to finish this eventually. Smell my hands. What do you, what do you think they that is? They smell like the inside of rubber hands, man. Yeah, that's I think what that's smell. what, oh, right, I they forgot about the hands. How could yeah. I forget about the hands so They haven't off gas. You and your squad are all chipping in to throw a surprise B-Day party for your friend Aaliyah. Mm -hmm. As the bash approaches, your bud Kayla confesses she can't cover her share. 
Now what? Moocher. Hey, email everyone that. Due to Kayla's last minute lack of funds, the party's <laughs> going to be scaled way, way, way back. Way, way back. Lunch in the calf, anyone? Oh, no. Oh. Smarty pants. The pain. calf is short yeah, for cafeteria. Go ahead and blame That's Kayla's, like, something that she cannot control. Great. That's Good one. Amazing. Oof. B, casually mention that things are getting expensive and suggest DIY pizzas at your house instead okay. of a super spread it. Aliyah's Subtle. favorite. Nigiri bar. Nigiri? Nigiri. Yeah. Your girl, Your girl loves Nigerian. slices almost as much as raw salmon anyway. What? Is that a Pizza. choice? Pizza. No, that's all part Sli- of the I, I thought there were slices of raw it's salmon. I was very su- confused. Suggest your own house. Right, yeah. C, empty your bank account to cover Kayla's portion of the bash. So much for those end of season sale booties you wanted. Well, I do have to say that I'm a 34-year-old man, so I think emptying my bank account to cover this particular <laughs> evening is not would, smart. Would be really difficult. <laughs> like, it would be a really big party. Oh. I mean, it'd be a good party. Um, email. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with uh, C, cover the cost. Right. Well, I, I, if really? I'm considering. But not empty my bank account. Right. I'm yeah. Just gonna... cover the don't empty. Oh, you can't cover it? Well, let me throw a bash bash. Yeah, we're going to rent a cruise ship. <laughs> uh, uh I'm going with B. I can't on this I'm going to go with B too. The well, record. the thing is, if this was my brother and he's telling me he cannot afford to cover his part of the, he wrote this really popular book that has done quite yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like he's just lying to me. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and badmouth them. I'm going to go with A. Oh, we're going to go with A. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going to yeah. say, well, yeah. Well, I'm not going to say exactly what this, the text of this, but I'm going to tell everybody that John's being a bit of a sting, stingy there. Stingy yeah, monster. Stingy. Because yeah. he's not named Kayla is one of the reasons. It's right. true. True fact about John. Your babe, Corinne, asked you to help her prep my babe? for an American history. I think that's what gr- girls call each other is like friends now. My babe? Babe. Sure, okay, I'm in. Weird. <laughs> asked you to help her prep for an American history presentation. When she launches into the reasons the U.S. entered World War II, you can tell she's struggling. Um, Pearl Harbor? Like... What's your move? What's your move? Well, I would suggest to her Crash Course American History. Okay. YouTube.com slash Crash Course. Promotion goes a long way. Hey, yeah. you're going to rip the notes out of her hand mid-sentence and whip out a red pen. Once you've made the proper changes, you'll perform the speech as it should be read. Then you'll just, then she just has to follow your lead. Wow. So you're going to just step in, take over. B, you're going to listen all the way through, then suggest a few changes she should make. Finally, mention how much you love TED Talks so she gets a better sense of an how an A-plus speech should sound. All right. That's that's a probably... Okay. That's I mean, I would, have, I would have suggested Crash Course, but TED Talks are fine, too. And then C, give her a standing O. It's not your job to critique her take on history, Psh. and uh, she clearly needs support. Psh. Psh. You got to help that girl out. You can't let people coast through life. I don't like to do work, though, in general, but I like to point people to internet videos. Right, no, so yeah. B, I'm all over B. Emailing yeah. people internet videos is pretty much my job. B for me, too. Yeah. Got to stick with that. All right, well, we're all we're all on that one. Your girls Uh huh. Hey. have so, been your valentine since, oh, the beginning of time. <laughs> but this year, you finally have a BF. That's a boyfriend. I feel bad. I feel like we're mocking children. And secretly want to skip out on your traditional Hearts Day sleepover. Oh, yeah. Okay, they've been doing that for years. They've been having sleepovers. Right on. Now you got a BF. Valentine's Day. How do you break the news that you're bailing for a boy? Mmm, drama. You're gonna send a snap of the ironically sweet teddy bear and hilarious card you got him? Hope they take a hint. Are you gonna be meat for lattes to casually mention that your guy asked you to a February 14th dinner? If they don't lose it on you, you tell them that you already said yes, duh. Mm-hmm. Or C, ugh, you, you still, still have, have no clue. clue. You just don't know what to do. I like one of the options is, I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to be a human. I like that they're letting that be an option. But both of these, I think that, that like this is a bunch of really great uh, sort of constructive advice. I, I like number one, you send it, snap of that, uh, that sweet teddy bear that he sent you, and then and then you're like, ah, oh, see how, Just, see you know, take a hint, right? You know, you give them give them all the information necessary to to let them know why you're making this difficult decision. I like lattes. I also like drinks. And you, I, so I'm going to do that just because lattes were an option. <laughs> Where'd you get your shoes? I feel like that's the question that that Becky would ask Kayla. <laughs> really. Was it Becky one of them? No. Is that an answer? Because I'm choosing that one. <laughs> Change the subject <laughs> to shoes. 
Okay, Link, I'm going to put you down for you have no clue because you haven't spoken. <laughs> right. And no. I, th final I think question. it should just be direct. Final I have a boyfriend question. now. It's Valentine's uh, Day. Grow up, girls. You don't need me anyway. And I wouldn't. I I I would send them the snap. I mean, you don't want to use any other social media platform for that. You no. want to use Snapchat. It's got to be temporary. Yeah. And finally, you're related to. Not you're related to. Wow. <laughs> you are you are related you're, to your boyfriend Zach. You're it's very very confusing. Warning. You. <laughs> You're slated to join your best guy friend Zach and his family for a ski oh. weekend over winter break. As you two are hammering out details, he mentions his hot but horrible cousin Chase. Oh, Chase. Chase is hot but horrible. Oh, he's tagging so hot. along. What do you do? A announce that if Chase is in, you're out faster than he can carve down a black diamond. You, you hate, hate Chase. Chase. How do you feel about Chase? I can't read along with you guys from over here. I feel so excluded. <laughs> I think you like him. <laughs> I think you must like Jace, because well, he didn't say it. He's hot but annoying, right? He's horrible. He's, he's hot hot horrible. horrible. How's that even possible? When you're hot, how could you be horrible? B, you say nothing. You it's don't have to stick with him 24-7. Or C, ask your mom to call Zach's mom and say she's pulling the plug on you going, too expensive, too many boys, whatever you have to do to get out. Thanks, mom. Oh, you're going to, so B is just like ghost it. This is so it's tough. Just be like, I just, I'm not gonna reply to that. So glad I don't know a hot and horrible Chase. You know, I think I, I think I would uh, try and convey why I think Chase is so awful. Like, what did Chase do that's so so bad? Like, you got You gotta let your friend know. Like, you can't just let this guy Zach. That's not an option. Coast along and think that Chase is this good guy when he's done all this bad stuff. You gotta let him know. You just have to. You have to back out. You have to put it on your mom, or you have to go. Those are your two. Questions. I'm gonna put it on my mom. Okay. <laughs> it is interesting how none of the options are just say what you think. Yeah. They're all yes. like this. Yeah. yeah. Just make clandestine. Sure, make sure you lie a bunch to right. your BFFs. Right. I, I think I would just say nothing because I, I can deal with people and I like skiing. Is there a I've what you would go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to not ski because of chase. I don't care how horrible is that, or hot You don't it have is. to. Oh, okay. So, right. oh, that's the go option. I was confused about. I thought that option was just like reply, not at all. Do not ever engage with Zach again. The because only you one to avoid the chase. He is the only one that lets you still ski. Okay. Oh, yeah. I've, so far, I I've got ski. I've TED talks, lattes, and, and a ski skiing? trip. Yeah. Oh, what's A again? Uh, you say if Chase is in, I'm out. Mm, hard liner. That's me. Okay. <laughs> All right, I don't so know how let's bad. Get, I mean, get Chase, some is, results. Chase is horrible. It's horrible, but I don't know how horrible. horrible. Okay, Link. You, uh, you were horrible. mostly it... A's, mostly A's, which means you are brutally honest. Yes. Mm. Okay, uh, Hank. You were mostly. Let's see. An A. You were a B. You were a C. <laughs> Whoa. A. Oh, Hank. You had two A's, but more than anything else, you are also brutally honest. I feel it. I feel and then it. I am C B B. B, B, I am almost all Bs. I am delicately direct. Oh, good, good. And no one, no one, oh, <laughs> that was pretty direct. None of us were overly understated. No, no, that was no. mostly Cs. No, you wouldn't want to be so, so understated. Yeah. I was the last one there, because I wanted my mom to handle it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Do people take these quizzes and then they're like, okay, I'm... I'm doing something different now? Just like we're Maybe, about to yeah, do. Maybe, yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta define yourself as a young person. You gotta figure out who you are. You're not just, you're not just who you are. You are, just, you are building yourself. But am I this you're girl? You're what magazines label you as. Am I this girl? I don't this think so. I don't All right. Think. Well, actually, there is a resemblance. Yeah. To me, probably. Does it look like does I'm it, her now? Actually, you do, it does look a little more like her. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, if you were a lady, if you were like a 16-year-old girl, that might be what you look like. Ah, nice face. I liked it. <laughs>